I'll show you now is hedge trimmer. We've got the uh, extendable um, hedge trimmer here as well, which I find really good for things like the box hedges, for example, really nice and easy uh, to trim. Let's start this one up. There we go, all good. A uh, good thing about this one being on a pole as well, and you can adjust the head on this, which is good. So you can sort of adjust this through different angles. So I've gone for sort of the angle that I've got here, but you can you know, sort of bring that back through different angles, tighten that up. I'm probably gonna go just a little bit further forward on there. I want to be probably about there, I think. There we go. I thought you were there for a minute. Once I get into the zone, I just uh, end up just uh, sort of trimming, trimming and trimming. So yeah, I mean, that's a great tool. We've got the different attachments there as well. There's two head trimmer attachments, don't ask me why, but we've got the chainsaw one as well. So again, you can attach that. You can use that for cutting logs. What I will demo is, is the uh, electric one. This is another one I've tried before, um, which is really, really impressive. Let's get that out of there. That is pretty good. So if you don't want to be faffing about trying to start a petrol one like I did, no, seriously though, it's brilliant normally that machine. You've got the electric option there and you can see that again, that perfect sharp cut there as well. So if that was a, you know, a branch on a live tree you'd taken off, that's gonna heal over really, really nicely. You're not gonna end up sort of damaging that tree. Last couple of things to do. I'm gonna just show you the line trimmer. These we use every day at work. These are probably line trimmer and lawnmower are probably the sort of two machines we use the most. And uh, I did start on this, actually just move this bit of equipment out of the way. So I don't want to get that all covered in. Again, a really safe machine to use there. Use this all the time at work. That was, I mean, some of the uh, metals there, they're really quite sort of wiry and um, fibrous, but you know, cut through those really, really well. So great for going around the base of trees, along fences, nice lightweight machine as well. Really, really easy to use. And then finally, um, I'm gonna show you our chip, our impact shredder. Yeah, this time of year, we're into September. Once we get into October, November, we will get those really, really strong winds and gales and stuff. Inevitably, those trees, branches, things are gonna come down. And something like this is just so absolutely brilliant because you can just shred up to 45 mils through this really, really quickly. And then you can use the mulch to put on your sort of your beds and borders, almost use it like sort of bark mulch, really. Just important thing to mention about that is don't put it straight onto your garden, leave it for sort of three or four months first, and then put it on your garden. If you put it straight on, as the bacteria break it down, they take nitrogen out of the soil. So you're gonna deplete the soil, rather improve it. So store it somewhere for a while to begin with, 
then once it's sort of gone off a nice brown color then it's nice uh, nice and ready to use there's a little safety feature here as well so that when you pull that down and then pull the box out that actually sort of cuts the current that actually is like a circuit breaker so you know there's no way that you know you can ever come in contact with a moving blade and once that's pushed back in bring that back up you've made the contact again uh, and the machine will work so i've got a few um bits and pieces here just to drop in for you let's get that out of the way and here we go so You can see I put some quite thick stems through there. It's chopped that up. It's gone into the box underneath. Now I can just sort of you know leave that to sort of compost and break down, and then eventually sort of use that as a mulch. So yeah, that's a, a 2,500 watt impact shredder. Really powerful machine. I've had some sort of great fun with that over the last couple of days. You can probably see there's like sort of three or three inches of stuff in there where I've been shredding it before.